What's up everyone? It's Olivia Jade. Welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, I am showing you how to get a flawless, beautiful, stunning base without wearing a drop of foundation. Your skin, or my skin in this case, looks so healthy and glowy and pretty and I'm not wearing any foundation and it doesn't feel heavy and I just feel like I'm wearing my normal face normal skin <laughs> and I really wanted to share that with you guys so if you're new here make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up five second challenge to subscribe you have five seconds timers right there five four three I'm probably counting wrong but you can see how many seconds if you guys want to see this look then just keep watching and I really hope you enjoy it so when you are creating a flawless base or something that you don't want to look cakey or thick or anything really, you just want to look flawless naturally, like it's your natural skin. I have really good news, you don't have to wear foundation. So the first thing I want to talk about that is so important is priming, moisturizing, skincare. All the stuff before you actually start putting your face makeup on completely changes what your skin is going to look like in the end. Today I've chosen to use the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This stuff is amazing. It's so thick and creamy, so it really just kind of like melts into your skin and makes your skin and the makeup and everything go on like butter, which is amazing. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. I'm just gonna warm this product up in my hands and then put this all over my skin. So once that is done, eye cream is one of my favorite things in the world, whether you like an eye cream or an eye serum or whatever it is. I don't think you have to buy these exact products I'm using, just something that you have already or something that you really like. This one I'm going to go in with is the Fresh Supreme Eye Serum. Looks like this. I'm just going to take a few little drops and then go in with the ring finger. This is your most gentle finger. I go through so many skincare steps when doing like a no foundation look because number one, you're not wearing foundation so your skin has to look flawless without wearing foundation so you have to do all these other steps to ensure you're gonna feel healthy and feel glowy and it's gonna look glowy primer super important I really love this Becca a first light priming filter it kind of has like this lilac tone to it I think this almost brightens your skin it's kind of a weird thing but I just do a couple pumps of that on my hand and I rub this all over my face and once you think you've primed enough and put enough moisturizer and stuff on your face. You probably haven't. You can either take Max Strobe Cream if you have it, or this is one from the drugstore. It's the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Perfecting Primer. You guys, these products are literally the same thing. In my opinion, they are so similar. I'm gonna go in with the drugstore one because it's cheaper. I'm just gonna use my finger for this, and I'm applying this to the areas you wanna highlight a little bit and bring glow. See how I skipped right over my zit? I normally would apply this all over my cheeks, but I don't really want to highlight my blemish. Okay, now my face looks a little bit lighter than my body. I have a lot of glow to me, and we need to start covering up the zits and the blemishes and the burns. I'm going to take my concealers. I'm using two shades. I have the shade Light Neutral and the shade Light Medium. And I'm going to start by applying the shade Light Neutral under my eyes to cancel out the dark circles whatever we've got going on under there. And then I'm gonna go in with my other shade and really lightly just cover spots I don't wanna see. So that's pretty much everywhere that I want to cover. And then I have a really awesome trick for you if you need to cover like specific blemishes or anything like that. Anything like a flat shader brush would work great because you wanna blend out the product around your actual mark or blemish or anything. You never wanna to touch your actual blemish so it stays covered. And then I go in with that beauty blender and I blend all around it. And I like drag the product out. I really try and get it to be nothing. And then I just take the remainder and kind of blend all over my skin just so it's like the same tone. Okay, so now for the concealer, I'm just gonna blend this out like I normally would. Doing this side and then this side, back to this side, <laughs> going back to this side so it's evenly distributed. So as you can see, my little friend is still here, so I'm just gonna spot conceal that with the darker color. Put a little bit of that on there. And then I like to wipe off the brush. You can wipe it on a towel. I'm putting on my beauty blender because I'm lazy. And just go around. Literally just like that. Then, 
powder, so important. I take that same little shader brush and I pack on the powder, literally just like that. I go right on top of it and I let it sit for a little bit. This Laura Mercier powder is literally one of my favorites. I love it. I never think it makes me look cakey. But if we're going for this more natural look, I don't want to bake it, so I'm just tapping a tapered brush in there and lightly blending out the concealer. We're not blending it, we're just patting in powder. Don't like wipe your face. And then I like to go in and just pat in the rest of the powder we put on the face. See, we don't even have foundation on and our skin actually looks so airbrushed and the best part is you don't look cakey. Since we didn't place any concealer or foundation or anything on those direct spots, it doesn't look cakey, it's, it's literally your skin and it looks flawless. My favorite trick. Okay, so to warm up the cheeks, I like to go in with cream products. I'm going in with this NYX Wonder Stick. This is super affordable, it's just a contour stick. And since this is cream, again, it's not gonna look powdery. It's just gonna kind of melt into your skin. And then I like doing this on a damp beauty blender so it really just blends in and looks like your skin. Honey, isn't that what we all want? The answer is yes. You're just kind of like pushing and pouncing. I've got another drugstore fave. This is my NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick. I love this highlighter because it's not sparkly or glittery or anything like that. It's actually like that inner glow. It's kind of like the Benefit What's Up or the Milk Makeup Stick highlight. So I just like to apply this all over my fingers, like my three fingers right there, and literally just press that into your skin. It looks so beautiful and glowy right on the nose. And then, just for the hell of it, I'm going to place a little bit of this NYX stuff in my inner corners. Again, it looks so natural. And then I'm going to spray my face with my Morphe Prep and Set Makeup Setting Spray. And then, to finish off the look, I'm going in with this Ultra Glossy Lip Kathleen Lights Times Color Pop. I used this in my last video, and I fell in love with it. So guys, this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you out. If you thought the only way you could look flawless and feel beautiful was in foundation, I hope I proved you wrong because I used to think that too. I thought the only way I could feel comfortable and actually feel like my skin looked perfect was when I was wearing foundation. And as you can tell, or at least in my opinion, I think this proves that you can just do the absolute bare minimum and still feel super confident and healthy and glowy looking. Thank you for watching. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe. It means so much to me. Also, leave video requests down below, and I will see you guys next time.